cool. We love your questions. Keep sending them in. And today is a question I get asked a lot. Lynn asks, why does it seem like the Allegheny River gets ice on it and the Mon doesn't? Or is it just my imagination? That's a great question. While both the Monongahela River and Allegheny River can freeze in the wintertime, the Allegheny River will be the river that freezes first in Pittsburgh. Since both rivers flow into Pittsburgh, why would one freeze before the other? The biggest factor is the direction the rivers flow. The Monongahela River flows from south to north, and the Allegheny River flows from north to south. North is where you typically find the colder temperatures and a lot more snowpack. This combination leads to colder temperatures of the river water. Even when you get winter warm ups, that snow melt draining into the Allegheny River is colder than rain runoff in the Monongahela. This gives the Allegheny a jump start on winning the race to freezing first. I'm not sure that's a race anyone would want to win. Me either. Another factor is the composition of the rivers. There's more sediment flowing in the Mon. You may remember from a previous A-Ray where we discussed the line that shows up at the confluence of the rivers. The Monongahela River has a siltier sandstone bottom and gets stirred up a lot easier. On the other hand, the Allegheny River has a bigger gravel and coarser sand bottom, so it does not get stirred up as much. The extra sediment slows the freezing process down. So it's not Lynn's imagination at all? Nope, the Mon takes longer to freeze than the Allegheny. <laughs> Reporting from home, I'm Elizabeth Petlin. And I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin.